compound shape is a shape made up of more than one rectangle. There will be instances where you will need to work out the area of compound shapes. Now what you need to do is you need to look at your shape and you need to split it into rectangles. I'm going to draw a line here and we have rectangle A and rectangle B. Now to calculate the area you need to know the length and the width because you multiply those together to equal the area. For shape A, you already have a length and a width. It's not to scale, but you already have it. Three centimeters times three centimeters equals nine centimeters squared. Right, so that was pretty simple. However, shape B, you've only got one of your measurements, 10 centimeters times something equals something. What you need to do is you need to use the figures that you already have to calculate this missing width. The numbers that you're going to be looking at are the numbers which are parallel to the line which has a missing width. This is parallel and so is that parallel. If that, from start to end, that length measures three centimetres, then so must that part of that whole entire length. So that must equal three centimetres. Altogether, that length from here to here equals five centimetres. So if that's three, then you must realise, you know, that if you add two to that, you get two centimetres. Three and two is five centimetres. You've just figured out, using the parallel lengths, the missing length for that part of the compound shape. Originally, from start to finish, it measured five centimetres. But you've broken it into two pieces. You know the top part is three centimetres, so the bottom part must be two centimetres because altogether it's got to equal five. So now we have our missing width. Now you can finish off your calculation. 10 centimetres by two centimetres is 20 centimetres squared. So if you take the two areas of shape A and B, the total area for this compound shape equals 29 centimetres squared.